as you all know, Alhamdulillah passed away. I just wanted to make a little video clip for all the followers that have supported me from day one and come on this journey with me since day one. May Allah rewards all you guys and inshallah you continue to support me and MATW inshallah. One of the first thing is um, a little piece of advice to the brothers and sisters. <coughs> As you see in this life we had the cars, we had the money, we had everything alhamdulillah. But subhanAllah, a lot of people during the period of when I was sick, they would send me messages, brother, you guaranteed paradise, brother, you Brother, you've done so much for the community, for the Ummah. But subhanAllah, this, yani, it's not worth just the simple blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. Like waking up in the morning and being able to walk to the bathroom by yourself. So these things slowly got stripped, stripped away from me <laughs> during the last of my my life, alhamdulillah. Wallahi, some of us don't get that chance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to know when we're going to pass away. Some of us, and a lot of us, just pass away suddenly. You've heard many stories where brothers and sisters have died in clubs or overdosed, or whatever it is, subhanAllah. So during <coughs> your life, brothers and sisters, just try to have a goal, try to have a plan, try to have a project that you work towards. Even if it's not you personally doing it and you're funding someone else's projects, just do something because Allah you're gonna need it on a day of judgment. And for the brothers and sisters that are chasing this life, well, my advice to you guys is this life is becoming, yeah, before we used to say five years ago, ten years ago, certain things were happening. Now it's every month things are changing. And while we're following our desires more than we're following Islam these days, we're just going to be careful because, well, that's not a joke anymore. Our kids are getting affected, everyone's getting affected. Well, I sometimes I used to just sit on my bed and cry because I, like, I just wanted that support from people. And, and then, subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings you people that you've never thought or they'll be a part of your life or friends or you didn't even know they existed. When I used to travel, I used to meet certain people. A lot of them actually went out of their way to come all the way from Dubai or the UK or wherever it was to come to actually visit me when I was sick or in hospital. Or that's, that's love for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No photos, no nothing like that. Just come to visit, 14 hour at flight just to see if I'm okay, subhanAllah. So, so, for the people that are out there that are sick or worried or stressed, come out and I say to you people, don't worry, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send you people that you've never expected if you really need someone. You just have to have trust at the one calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, a little advice for for everyone out there, inshallah, if you can inspire one, two, three people to do something, remember when you're in that grave, inshallah, that you'll be getting rewarded for everything they've done for the people they've um, brought to Islam, and um, inshallah, that'll help on a day of judgment. So always try to have a, a project or a plan that you're working towards in this life, inshallah, inshallah, that'll help us 
الى الجريف اللي هي افتر جزاك الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمه